Caesar English place. Caesars, Latin place. Caesars is a title of imperial character. It derives from the cognomen of Julius Caesar, the Roman dictator. The change from being a familial name to a title adopted by the Roman emperors can be dated to about AD 68-69, the so-called Year of the Four Emperors. Topic: <laughs> Sole Roman Emperor. For political and personal reasons, Octavian chose to emphasize his relationship with Julius Caesar by styling himself simply, Imperator Caesar, whereto the Roman Senate added the honorific Augustus, Majestic, or Venerable, in 27 BC, without any of the other elements of his full name. His successor as emperor, his stepson Tiberius, also bore the name as a matter of course, born Tiberius Claudius Nero, he was adopted by Caesar Augustus on 26 June 4 AD, as Tiberius Julius Caesar. The precedent was set, the emperor designated his successor by adopting him and giving him the name, Caesar. The fourth emperor, Claudius, was the first to assume the name, Caesar. Upon accession, without having been adopted by the previous emperor, however, he was at least a member by blood of the Julio-Claudian dynasty, being the maternal great-nephew of Augustus on his mother's side, the nephew of Tiberius, and the uncle of Caligula. Claudius in turn adopted his stepson and grand-nephew Lucius Domitius Aenobarbus, giving him the name, Caesar. In the traditional way, his stepson would rule as the emperor Nero. The first emperor to assume the position and the name simultaneously without any real claim to either was the usurper Servius Sulpicius Galba, who took the imperial throne under the name, Servius Galba Imperator Caesar, following the death of the last of the Julio-Claudians, Nero, in 68. Galba helped solidify, Caesar, as the title of the designated heir by giving it to his own adopted heir, Lucius Calpurnius Piso Frugi Licinianus. Galba's reign did not last long and he was soon deposed by Marcus Otho. Otho did not at first use the title, Caesar, and occasionally used the title, Nero, as emperor, but later adopted the title, Caesar, as well. Otho was then defeated by Aulus Vitellius, who acceded with the name, Aulus Vitellius Germanicus Imperator Augustus. Vitellius did not adopt the cognomen, Caesar, as part of his name and may have intended to replace it with, Germanicus. He bestowed the name, Germanicus, upon his own son that year. Nevertheless, Caesar had become such an integral part of the imperial dignity that its place was immediately restored by Titus Flavius Vespasianus, Vespasian, whose defeat of Vitellius in 69 put an end to the period of instability and began the Flavian dynasty. Vespasian's son, Titus Flavius Vespasianus became, Titus Flavius Caesar Vespasianus. Dynastic title By this point the status of «Caesar» had been regularized into that of a title given to the emperor-designate occasionally also with the honorific title Princeps Iuvantutus Prince of Youth", and retained by him upon accession to the throne e.g., Marcus Ulpius Traianus became Marcus Coxaeus Nerva's designated heir as Caesar Nerva Traianus in October 97 and acceded on 28 January 98 as Imperator Caesar Nerva Traianus Augustus. After some variation among the earliest emperors, the style of the emperor designate on coins was usually noblissimus as Caesar, most noble Caesar, abbreviated to Nob Caes, Ncaes, etc., though Caesar Caes on its own was also used. <laughs> Late Empire Crisis of the 3rd century The popularity of using the title Caesar to designate heirs apparent increased throughout the 3rd century. Many of the soldier emperors during the crisis of the 3rd century attempted to strengthen their legitimacy by naming heirs, including Maximinus Thrax, Philip the Arab, Decius, Trebonianus Gallus and Gallienus. Some of these were promoted to the rank of Augustus within their father's lifetime, for example Philippus II. The same title would also be used in the Gallic Empire, which operated autonomously from the rest of the Roman Empire from 260 to 274, with the final Gallic Emperor Tetricus I appointing his heir Tetricus II Caesar and his consular colleague for 274. 
Despite the best efforts of these emperors, however, the granting of this title does not seem to have made succession in this chaotic period any more stable. Almost all Caesars would be killed before or alongside their fathers, or at best outlive them for a matter of months, as in the case of Hostilian. The sole Caesar to successfully obtain the rank of Augustus and rule for some time in his own right was Gordian III, and even he was heavily controlled by his court. Tetrarchy. On 1 March 293, Gaius Aurelius Valerius Diocletianus established the Tetrarchy, a system of rule by two senior emperors and two junior sub-emperors. The two co-equal senior emperors were styled identically to previous emperors, as Imperator Caesar N.N. Pius Felix Invictus Augustus Elagabalus had introduced the use of Pius Felix, the pious and blessed, while Gaius Julius Verus Maximinus, Thrax, introduced the use of Invictus the unconquered, and were called the Augusti, while the two junior sub-emperors were styled identically to previous emperors designate, as Noblissimus Caesar. Likewise, the junior sub-emperors retained the title, Caesar, upon accession to the senior position. The Tetrarchy was quickly abandoned as a system though the four quarters of the empire survived as praetorian prefectures in favor of two equal, territorial emperors, and the previous system of emperors and emperors designate was restored, both in the Latin-speaking West and the Greek-speaking East. After the Tetrarchy The title of Caesar remained in use throughout the Constantinian period, with both Constantine I and his co-emperor and rival Licinius utilizing it to mark their heirs. In the case of Constantine, this meant that by the time he died, he had four Caesars, Constantius II, Constantine II, Constance and his nephew Dalmatius, with his eldest son Crispus having been executed in mysterious circumstances earlier in his reign. In the event, Constantine would be succeeded only by his three sons, with Dalmatius dying in the summer of 337 in similarly murky circumstances. Constantius II himself would nominate as Caesars his two cousins Constantius Gallus and Julian in succession in the 350s, although he first executed Gallus and then found himself at war with Julian before his own death. After Julian's revolt of 361, the title Caesar fell out of imperial fashion for some time, with emperors preferring simply to elevate their sons directly to the post of Augustus, as with Gratian. It would be revived only nearly three quarters of a century later when Theodosius II used it to mark his nephew Valentinian III before successfully installing him upon the western throne vacated by the boy's other uncle Honorius. Thereafter it would receive limited use in the Eastern Roman Empire, for example, in the designation of the future Leo II in the final months of his grandfather's life. <inaudible> Byzantine Empire In the Eastern Roman or Byzantine Empire, Caesar Greek, Kaiser continued in existence as a title marking out the heir apparent, although since the time of Theodosius I, most emperors chose to solidify the succession of their intended heirs by raising them to co-emperors. Hence the title was more frequently awarded to second and third born sons, or to close and influential relatives of the emperor, thus for example Alexios Macel was the son-in-law of Theophilos ruled 829-842, Bardas was the uncle and chief minister of Michael III r. 842 while Nikephoros II r. 963 awarded the title to his father, Bardas Phokas. An exceptional case was the conferment of the dignity and its insignia to the Bulgarian Khan Tervel by Justinian II r. 685 705-711 who had helped him regain his throne in 705. The title was awarded to the brother of Empress Maria of Alania, George II of Georgia in 1081. According to the Clitorologian of 899, the Byzantine Caesar's insignia were a crown without a cross, and the ceremony of a Caesar's creation in this case dating to Constantine V, is included in De Ceremonies I.43. The title remained the highest in the imperial hierarchy until the introduction of the Sebastocrator a composite derived from Sebastos and Autocrator, the Greek equivalents of Augustus and Imperator by Alexios I Komnenos r. 1081-1118 and later of Despotes by Manuel I Komnenos r. 1143-1180. The title remained in existence through the last centuries of the empire. 
In the Palaiologan period, it was held by prominent nobles like Alexios Stratagopoulos, but from the 14th century, it was mostly awarded to rulers of the Balkans such as the princes of Valachia, Serbia and Thessaly, in the late Byzantine hierarchy, as recorded in the mid-14th century Book of Offices of Pseudo-Codinos, the rank continued to come after the Sebastocrator. Pseudo-Codinos further records that the Caesar was equal in precedence to the Panhyper Sebastos, another creation of Alexios I, but that Emperor Michael VIII Palaiologos had raised his nephew Michael Tarshaniotes to the rank of Protovestiarios and decreed that to come after the Caesar, while under Andronikos II Palaiologos the Megas Domesticos was raised to the same eminence, when it was awarded to the future Emperor John VI Cantacosi R. 1347 to 1354. According to Pseudo Codinos, the Caesar's insignia under the Palaiologoi were a Sciadian hat in red and gold, decorated with gold wire embroideries, with a veil bearing the wearer's name and pendants identical to those of the Despotes and the Sebastocrator. He wore a red tunic, Ruchon, similar to the emperor's, without certain decorations, and his shoes and stockings were blue, as were the accoutrements of his horse. These were all identical to those of the Sebastocrator, but without the embroidered eagles of the latter. Pseudo Codinos writes that the particular forms of another form of hat, the domed scarinacan, and of the mantle, the tamparian, for the Caesar were not known. Topic: <laughs> Ottoman Empire. In the Middle East, the Persians and the Arabs continued to refer to the Roman and Byzantine emperors as Caesar. In Persian, Qusur Rum Kaisar i Rum, Caesar of Rum, from Middle Persian Kesar. Thus, following the conquest of Constantinople in 1453, the victorious Ottoman Sultan Mehmed II became the first of the rulers of the Ottoman Empire to assume the title Caesar of the Roman Empire. Ottoman Turkish, Qusur Rum Kaiser i Rum. After the fall of Constantinople, having conquered the Byzantine Empire, Mehmed took the title Khazar i Rum, claiming succession to the Roman Imperium. His claim was that by possession of the city, he was emperor, a new dynast by conquest, as had happened previously in the empire's history. Contemporary scholar George of Trebizond wrote, The seat of the Roman Empire is Constantinople. and he who is and remains emperor of the Romans is also the emperor of the whole world. Gennadius Scholarius, a staunch antagonist of the West because of the sack of Constantinople committed by the Western Catholics and theological controversies between the two churches, had been enthroned the ecumenical patriarch of Constantinople New Rome with all the ceremonial elements and ethnarch or militbashi status by the Sultan himself in 1454. In turn, Gennadius II recognized Mehmed as successor to the throne. Mehmed also had a blood lineage to the Byzantine imperial family. His predecessor, Sultan Orhan I, had married a Byzantine princess, and Mehmed may have claimed descent from John Zelopes Komnenos. Ottoman sultans were not the only rulers to claim such a title, as there was the Holy Roman Empire in Western Europe, whose emperor, Frederick III, traced his titular lineage from Charlemagne, who obtained the title of Roman Emperor when he was crowned by Pope Leo III in 800, although he was never recognized as such by the Byzantine Empire. Topic legacy topic Name the history of Caesar as an imperial title is reflected by the following monarchic titles, usually reserved for emperor and empress in many languages. Note that the name Caesar, pronounced in English, was pronounced Kaiser in classical Latin, Germanic languages, Danish, Kedgser and Kedgserand, Dutch, Kaiser and Kieserin, German, Kaiser and Kaiserin, Icelandic, Kisari and Kisarania, Faroese, Kisari and Kaiserina, Norwegian, Kaiser and Kaiserin, Bachmal, Kisar and Kaisorine, Nine Norsk, Swedish, Kedgser and Kedgserina Old English, Kassara Baltic languages, Latvian, Kaisers and Kaiseriene, Slavic languages, Belarusian, Kar and Karaka, Tsar and Tsaritsa, Bulgarian, Kar and Karaka, Tsar and Tsaritsa, Croatian, Kar and Karaka, C is red TS, Czech, Sisar and Sisarovna, Macedonian, Kar and Karaka, Tsar and Tsarika C is red TS, Polish, Cesars and Cesarzoa, Russian, Kar and Karaka, Tsar and Tsaritsa, Archaic transliteration, Tsar and Tsaritsa modern transliteration, however in the Russian Empire also reflected in some of its other languages, which aimed to be the Third Rome as successor to the Byzantine Empire, it was abandoned not in the foreign language renderings though as imperial style, in favor of imperator and autocrator, and used as a lower, royal style as within the empire in chief of some of its parts, e.g. 
Georgia and Siberia in the United States and, more recently, Britain. The title czar from the Russian title is a slang term for certain high-level civil servants, such as the drug czar for the director of the Office of National Drug Control Policy and terrorism czar for a presidential advisor on terrorism policy. More specifically, a czar refers to a sub-cabinet level advisor within the executive branch of the U.S. government. Serbian, Kar and Karika, Kar and Karika pronounced Tsar and Saritsa or Kesar, Kesar Slovak, Cesar and Cisarovna, Slovene, Cesar and Cesarika or Kar and Karika, Ukrainian, Cesar i Cisarova, Thesar and Cisarova, also Ukrainian, Kar Kar and Karina, archaic transliteration, Tsar and Tsarina, Tsar and Serena, modern transliteration, Afro-Asiatic languages, Arabic, Kaiser Kusar, Kwasar Kasar, Palace, Hebrew, Kesar Kwasar, male, and Kesarit Kwasarith, female. Indo-Iranian languages, Persian, Kaisar Qusur Urdu, Kaisar Qusur used in the title Kaiser I Hind Emperor of India during the British Rajkartvelian languages Georgian, Kisari Kisari Turkic languages, Turkish, Kaiser Historical, Caesar Modern. Kaiser I Rum Caesar of Constantinople, the second Rome, one of many subsidiary titles proclaiming the Ottoman Sultan main imperial title Padisha as Muslim successor to Rum as the Turks called the Christian Roman Empire as Byzantium had continued to call itself, continuing to use the name for part of formerly Byzantine territory compare the Seljuk Rum Sultanate Uralic languages, Estonian, Kaiser and Kaisrina, Finnish, Kisari and Kaiserina or Kisaritar, Hungarian, Kasasher and Kasasherno, Austronesian languages, Bahasa Indonesia, Kaiser, Albanian, Albanian, Caesar and Kesarine, Armenian, Armenian, Kaiser Kaysr, and Armenian, Kaysritun Kaysrushian meaning empire, modern Greek, Greek, Kaisaras Kaisaras, the archaic form Greek, Kaiser is rarely used today, Romance languages Romanian, Caesar, used as a first name. Spanish, Portuguese and French, Cesar, commonly used as first or second name. Italian, Cesare, used as a first name. In various Romance and other languages, the imperial title was rather based on the Latin imperator, in fact, a military mandate or a victory title, but Caesar or a derivation is then still used for both the name and the minor ranks still perceived as Latin. There have been other cases of a noun proper being turned into a title, such as Charlemagne's Latin name, including the epithet, Carolus Magnus, becoming Slavonic titles rendered as king, Kralj, Serbo-Croat, Kral, Czech, and Kroll, Polish etc. However certain languages, especially Romance languages, also commonly use a «modernized» word e César in French for the name, both referring to the Roman cognomen and modern use as a first name, and even to render the title Caesar, sometimes again extended to the derived imperial titles above. Topic historiography Oswald Spengler used the term «Caesarism» in his book, The Decline of the West. Topic see also Augustus honorific Caesaropapism Kozrau word topic references topic bibliography Polly Wisowa Real Encyclopédie der Klassischen Altertumswissenschaft Berry John B 1911 The Imperial Administrative System of the 9th Century with a revised text of the Kletorologian of Philotheos Oxford University Publishing Kajdan, Alexander ed 1991 The Oxford Dictionary of Byzantium New York and Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-504652-6. Verpo, Jean, ed. 1966. Pseudo-Codinos, Traité des Offices in French. Centre National de la Recherche Scientifique. 